Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful viewers. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host, Shivang. For those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. All right. So without much ado, this reading is going to be for Aries. I just have completed the reading for Pisces and I thought like, okay, let me stop doing shooting. But I got this call that, no, you got to and do the reading for Aries because uh, in the Pisces reading uh, what happened is that I actually wanted to start from Aries but it, when I tried to address I say Pisces so you may have strong Pisces uh, placement so you can watch the Pisces reading and there I say that better you go and watch the uh, Aries reading so I don't know how this will be connected we will see through the cards and the energy but uh, yeah I'm feeling very uh, heavy energy and yet at the same time light energy a blend of white and black a blend of pink and white it's like I can see colors I can see colors colors everywhere I can see colors only all right beautiful colors as if like you're talking to colors as if like you're speaking to colors yeah okay okay I'll come to this message so Aries your third eye is absolutely activated that's what father in heaven has to say yeah your third eye is absolutely activated so strong strong advice uh, from your father to listen to your intuition this is your intuition your masculine intuition within you where there is this I told you I'm feeling very heavy energy yet at the same time uh, subtle energy it's like juggling right so you see you are having a tug of war and you are juggling and while you're having the tug of war and juggling this is where you land up at the end like I hear so many good things I hear so many good things yet I land up getting this you know after this energy all right I land up here then again I come back listen to my intuition I get up but yet again this is like a cyclic cyclical loop I'm feeling like that this is like a cyclical loop why the cyclical loop that you are in for about five months or five years or two months or two years okay or for some it's like ten years Aries if you have been experiencing this energy for so long, then your father is saying that it is because we were we have been working on to bring you into this energy. I told you, remember, pay attention to your intuition, Aries. You are showing up as your own energy. This is your card. I told you, intuition, this is a cat. You are a person who has a strong, strong mind. All right, very strong mind. What you think, you manifest. So think positive that's a uh, that's a uh, uh, call from the universe think positive your thoughts become things all right because you are manifesting as a magician all right and look at the red color you are ruled by M uh, mars and mars is the blood that runs within our body that gives us the that temperature to fight a battle all right that mars plays a role in energy form like for the divine it's like god of war you have been having a war within you of back and forth struggle conflict and then after going through that energy aries you land up here and have no understanding like what is wrong all right and when you are contemplating or introspecting into it you are getting to see that you know what this is who i am actually i should not be fearing I should be bold, courageous. I should be paying attention to my intuitions. I should be listening to my soul calling. I should, I should be listening to my heart. And, and interestingly, in the Pisces reading, I said that uh, I'm seeing a mermaid and a mermaid. All right, mermaid, merman. Okay, so we have mermaid also. In masculine, we have mermaid, merman also. So these are fishes. And I say, talked about dive, the diving deep into the depth of the ocean because Pisces is the, um, you know, depth of the ocean. Once you find that pearl that, that you discover yourself there, after tapping into your intuition, going through the depth of the sea, there's the pearl, right? 
so this is the pearl that is uh, that is going to be handed over to you as in like you are this and you have the power to bring this and this is all martian energy you see this may be a gemini card all right but if you don't have information or knowledge what exactly want to create what you exactly want to bring into the table this this magician has brought into the table is the ace of cup is the ace of swords is the ace of pentacle and ace of what what you exactly want to bring into the table is your call right that's your free will all right so that's the le lesson that you are getting as uh, as in this gemini energy of like and getting information getting knowledge getting to know yourself uh, what is it why you are here and you're clearing this energy even if you are dying in this process multiple time and that through that energy you are recognizing your worth and you are recognizing your power recognizing your self-worth all right you are claiming yourself you're proclaiming yourself yeah i'm feeling like that you're proclaiming yourself and you are absolutely tapped in well uh, with your intuition and you are getting those signs and synchronicities as well all right and here you are with that martian energy you're getting that inspiration that go 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 and you will be taking those actions as you will continue to get the nudge because there is this fire behind him all right he is a master manifester and look at the infinite sign all right i'm seeing there is this uh, you know fire energy and uh, you know look at this the fire energy and the water energy there is this uh, intertwined yeah, infinite uh, uh, connection is taking place if this is the muscly you are masculine you are feeling when you I'm showing you this card and I'm wearing the blue and I always say that in a feminine body I am a masculine soul it's like are you getting me so I can say that this is your masculine right now you can hear me out this person was uh, was keeping you in this energy you did not even realize or could figure out whether they actually ever loved you or not you had that into that tug of war energy then juggling and and then they left you in this energy and exited uh, your life and when they exited your life they realized that and they tap into their intuition after the life experiences that has taken place in their life also now they are seeing of who they are how they played a role of uh, like this person was playing a victim victim card all right everything as if like everything was happening with them all right and then when god intervened they understood they got into this energy then god brought them into this energy and then finally they are seeing themselves as this this energy and so do you in a different way you were also experiencing something to see your worth has those uh, juggling energy has those tug of war energy has those ten of swords energy only to only to see yourself both of you have now found that alignment of this energy within yourself and that is the reason look finding look at that i told you judgment call finding that this may be very small in the 3d because it is not visible to your eyes right now hence this is very small but this is actually already has taken birth my dear that's what father has to say because of the judgment call that is coming to both of you you both are um, getting that judgment call the entire ma mankind and the entire planet is getting that judgment call look at this everybody is drowning in the water all right as if like i'm seeing that noah's ark all right um like it's been uh, it's a Noah's Ark and there is this big floodgate going to open and then this everything will be washed off and only the good people will stay and then from there a small new beginning will again take place. It's like Adam and Eve, all right, <coughs> in balance. <coughs> and <coughs> look at that. I'm having this activation in the throat chakra and don't forget the third chakra color is blue and i'm wearing blue and this is the king color blue all right and the i am aries energy and i am ruled by martian in every placement and i'm seeing myself in this energy in my feminine energy and that's what i'm saying that you are really going to see and learn the art of using these tools 
the ace of wand ace of pentacle ace of cup and ace of swords god was teaching you all this that's why you had to go through that roller coaster ride of killing your old self making sure that the old self is dead and you find a new you new passion new look this person feel really passionate this person is feeling really really passionate about you they know in the past how they walked out and now they know how they need to walk in into your life because they are also getting that understanding from the universe to uh, make a move take an action towards this queen that's why this king and this knight of wand is coming towards you all right this knight of wand is coming towards you so in the love space and in the uh, financial dynamic what i feel is that if you have been juggling with finances for so long that means now there is not going to be any challenges because finally this juggling is going to stop and there will be this one pentacle and this pentacle is the same pentacle that is uh, with the uh, magician and this pentacle has the potential to grow that means this queen king may turn out to be that uh, ace of pentacle he will be carrying that ace of pentacle that we have in this deck right so if you are feeling confused like juggling tug of war death energy just know know this if you are seeing a lot of lizard in your house it is all uh, and if you're seeing a lot of cat don't discount your intuition when i say that i saw look at that i said that my truth chakra was <clears throat> i was trying to talk this person is maturing to talk all right when they will come to you they will be this horse is not now i'm seeing this after looking into this two kings out here i'm seeing this knight of uh wands as like king of wands to be honest when we he will get down from this horse uh in front of you he will be a balance uh uh, queen a uh, king of swords balance king of um, emotions balance king of fire king of passion and he will be offering you as a king this pentacle all right that's such a beautiful energy because they are getting every clarity right now of seeing you as their queen of the ultimate queen and they don't have any juggle uh, of this thought within them they are not any more doubtful that's how i'm feeling so they have made a choice they have made their decision they are just getting ready like how to speak and from where to start all right so the, expect very little from this person yeah that's what i say they are contemplating and meditating to see how they can approach to find that balance in that and that's what is taking place in spirit world there is this water and fire energy remember i told you water and fire energy is getting balanced in the 3d world knowingly or unknowingly look at this energy this energy is getting balanced in the 3d world they are going to come towards you as a balanced yin and yang to offer this ace of cup because look at this thing i love this because they are seeing as a high priestess damn that you are actually their high priestess you are the empress you are the person who has the power to win over this they see that you are the one who can master damn the beast and you are the one who has the light within to do something like this to look at that i told you this pentacle will grow all right and this is what is growing to like 10 of pentacles all right passion absolutely beautiful energy this is what is taking place in the heavenly realm my dear prophetic all right prophetic and you are paying the price and this is what is going on in the end of the masculine's energy as well rushing in towards you to bring that balance or eggs to express their emotions and feelings and how they feel about you they really feel i see a lot of passion energy in your reading aries all right you have 10 the base you are fighting a spiritual war within and you are finding a balance within your energy and you are getting really really mastered up conjuring up your strength to 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 make sure that you know what I will make sure that that this comes to an end and look look that I will take that leap of faith and I will make sure that this will of fortune turns in my favor you are coming in your power to heal everything that has taken place in your life and make the will of fortune turn in your favor this is what you are creating for yourself look at that no joke 
all right and there is the spirit guide dog if you have dog pay attention to their uh, energies all right and again this is the another uh, major arcana where temperance energy is depiction of yin and yang energy and here that yin and yang energy is getting healed through the star card all right so temperance is the yin and yang energy balance of yin and yang energy all right in spirit and star is the healing energy in spirit all right when this yin and yang blends then this healing takes place through the star card where you find the balance of that one seven axis that means relationship dynamic is going to be really really will be in place right now all right if it has been upside down then it is going to be in place your family dynamic your relationship dynamic every dynamic of your life is going to get sorted because this wheel of fortune is turning in your favor because you have surrendered yourself to the divine after much fight and struggle and completely waiting and waiting finally this this is what is coming towards you after this enlightenment you may be dealing with a curious or a virgo all right perfect 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 energy so let's see what advice uh, krishna has for you that's how krishna called out to me and i say that make the right choice you you have the knowledge look at this with the hermit card as the last card of the deck you are going to get that knowledge and wisdom and and you will understand what commitment is, what love is, what honesty is, what truthfulness is. You will understand every heavy, high frequency energy word and you are going to vibrate in that energy and you will continue to make right choices in your life. Despite all the odd situations, you will be like breaking through and you will do everything possible that is in your hands. All right. You are trying to be humble in all you do. Vanity breeds sickness, make the right choice. So you will be making choice uh, consciously now. You know what? I need this. I'll be keeping this. I'll fight for this. I will fight for something that I truly deserve. And you will be saying goodbye and walking away from things that does not serve you. You know that if I stay in this company, in this company or with the, in the company of these people, then my energy will be depleted. So you will say goodbye to them. All right. You are making, you know, fast choices, quick actions because of the Martian energy that has been getting activated within you right now. All right. So I hope this message has helped you in some way, shape or form. Until we meet again. I'm sending across much love and light to you all. Om Namah Shivaya. Stay blessed and in peace. Bye-bye.